Hey guys, what's up? This is Wolf Drew and Nolly. How all my adventures doing? So, change of pace from the last video I made about the whole situation going on. Um, I finally finished the tree. Well, somewhat finished the tree. This is going to be more of a testing situation going on. But here's the elemental tree. I can explain this in a few. I mean, it's, it's basically like how Pokemon does theirs. Their whole elemental, well, advantage and disadvantage system. But mine's is more kind of logical and changed around a bit. So the first thing I wanted to get into is that we talked about the map getting created. It is now finished. Now, I know it doesn't look like much from like here from this point of view. This is the 8K version. Um, I am having him go back and, you know, kind of put some trees here so we don't have any issues of players just seeing the void over here. But um, as I just turn on Git 04, let me just go ahead and I guess show it inside of the game, the actual game. I actually like already scaled it down and everything. Um, here we go. So yeah, a lot closer of a view actually looks 10 times better. <laughs> this isn't the actual speed. This is just like an actual, like just default speed I just put on. Yeah, we're, we're putting grass here so we don't see the void. <laughs> Well, trees, a whole bunch of trees here, so we don't see the void. Um, yeah, it, it actually turned out pretty well, to be honest, just because the top down feel of it actually made sense. I'm, I'm probably going to have to do something about that lantern now. I feel like I can probably cut it perfectly and just have the player be able to go under it. Maybe that's just going to take a little bit of work to do. But yeah, traveling through the map actually doesn't seem like too bad. Here's the quest board. Well, I guess I can show the, the other one that we had, the concept map that we used. Yeah, this versus the concept map that we had. You see what I mean? You can make like just the most vague concepts and people can actually figure out what you actually want on Fiverr. Just like people are talented like that. As I, it actually turned out extremely well. The research centers over here. The storage that I wanted is down here. The, the docks is right here. I kind of do want to figure out how I can make this water here like animated. So I'm going to do that down the road. But it's not really my main concern at the moment. So, yeah, the minor things on the map is not none of my main concern. Um, I might actually have him remove that because that does kind of look weird there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the map actually turned out pretty nice in my opinion. I say, like I said, this is this is pretty much for like accessibility. Like, not everybody's PC can handle like high extreme graphics and stuff like that. So, 2D art style wise, just helps it a lot more. But like I said, I do plan on doing a remake down the road. But as of right now, this this is what we're dealing with. Because I actually do like the way he creates his maps. And I can actually put in a lot of quests and stuff for this. I do have to make a lot of collisions though. The collisions are going to be the funnest thing to actually like do. Ooh, I didn't even realize that. I'm going to have to get him to fix that too. <laughs> I didn't actually realize that. Well, it's good to know that I'm, I'm figuring it out now. But yeah. I do like the research center over here though. So pretty soon I'm gonna have to do NPCs. So that's gonna be fun to do later. Alright, so that's pretty much all I needed to show. Here's his Zen's house over here. We will 
talk more about that down the road. But at the moment, that that is our map. Those things need to be R and out on it, but yeah, I'll talk to them later about it. Um, let's see the chart. The chart is the main thing that uh, I was going to talk about in this video. So basically, like I said, the whole Simmer Loser Pokemon's chart, it's whatever I'm attacking from this point of view is what's going to happen. So if I if a normal attacks Earth, they get their damage reducted by half. But if you see any this empty squares, that means it just doors. It just does. Where the, what did I just create a new word? Am I okay? <laughs> it does uh, normal damage, so it's just times one, just normal. If it does zero, that means it just takes no damage at all. So pretty easy, just just like Pokemon system. Just well, pretty much like every other Pokemon clone or you know similar. To be honest, I thought about just not putting in typing at all, but that wouldn't really, but when you think about it, that wouldn't really create too much gameplay aspect to it. It would, it would make it very strange just cause you would just be using like, you know, ah, God damn it. It's, it's weird to explain it. It just wouldn't feel right. No, I'm just going to cut the rest of that. It, it, it just looks it just plays very strange if I have no like elemental or typing multipliers, anything like that, you know, that, that kind of ruins the, the joy of the strategy <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. But anyway, with all that out of the way, yeah, here, here is the chart. You guys can pause it and look at it. So anything, so I'll give you an example of basically how to look at the chart. So everything on this side is the attacker. And this is the defender. So you will go down the line if you want to know what normal types are effective and not effective to or can't hit. You would just go down this line and see. So normal type versus earth are half. Normal type versus metal is half. Normal type versus spirit is zero because Pokemon actually had that right. A normal type shouldn't be able to hit a spirit. And Normal type versus magic is half. So if I want to look from another perspective, what if I go to magic? I go down to magic and magic is effective against spirits. Draco. Magic itself. And warriors. So yeah, that made that made sense when I was going through the tree. Now there's maybe some types that have more of an advantage than others, which like I say, it makes sense when you actually think about it You can actually just, you know, sit there and think about it. So for the typings, normal, fire, water. Yeah, I just went with the normal elemental things. It's just like, why would I go outside of the elementals, the basic elementals? So for for wind, I guess you can call it my flying types. If you want to, but I wouldn't because I'm if even if the monster girl flies, I probably won't put wind as an attribute most of the time. Well, no, let's say if I have like an owl monster girl, let's say for an example, the owl is is one of those wise one that knows magic. I will just put magic on it. I wouldn't put wind just because it has a wing. I'll show you guys when <laughs> when the game starts getting more monster girls and it'll start making sense of why I'm not doing it right now. It's just it just doesn't sound right until I actually like get enough monster girls that actually fall into that category, which I don't have enough like, you know, flying creatures at the moment. So with that said, um, have thunder, which is basically electric. Uh, have earth, which is going to be my. Which I was thinking about, it's just like instead of just doing like anything separate from like ground and 
rock. I'm just going to fuse it all together and just call it earth. But then again, I was thinking of just going with the basic elements. So earth is going to be a thing anyway, even outside of like ground and rock. Then metal for me for any like of the tech characters that I was going to actually add in like way further down the road made sense to go with metal. I was going to put mech as the name, but that wouldn't make any sense because some of the monster girls that I do have planned aren't mech wise. So metal just made more sense instead of like, well, metal is just basically my steel of the game. Spirit is based on my ghost type of the game. Spirit just, I was going to name this spiritual at first, but then when I started looking at pictures of spiritual, it didn't make any sense <laughs> because it was nothing related to spirits. Uh, I just decided to keep it because it's one of the basic attributes. Uh, plants is based on my grass types and there's pl mostly plant monster girls that I have. Well, plant based monster girls that I have. Then I went with bug just because it made sense instead of like just having like insects. I couldn't think of another word or bug that was universal so i just kept that uh draco i went with the lat latin meaning of dragon which is draco so yeah <laughs> so technically still dragon types so that'll be my skelly creatures most of the time but most of the time my skelly creatures will be elemental based now and then so yeah then there is the magic which is basically my psychic of the game. Warrior is my obviously fighting type of the game, which at the time made sense of why I called it warrior, because there's mostly like, you know, characters fighting with axes, swords, stuff like that. And then there is dark and light, which also has a huge advantage versus a lot of things. <laughs> because as you can see, everything is is normal and they're affected by each other i went with this logic because it was always an interesting logic inside of mobile games of why dark and light characters were always like versus each other they were each other's main nemesis but if these such as poison attacking attacking dark magic attacking dark draco attacking dark will get their stuff half because you know, those elements, I decided to give them three of the other attributes or typings to be immune to just to make them stronger because these dark and light monster girls are going to be rarer. But yeah, characters like Shadow Cat is going to be more of a spirit slash dark type. But uh, here's here's the tree. You guys can take a little bit of a more look at, at it in depth. I will posted in discord you guys can look at it look at it there but here's just showing progress of with what's going on i have the map done my second developer is doing the getting the database ready so i can just add in monster girls stuff like that um so yeah a lot of things are being made progress he just started on it, i think yesterday or the day before that so probably next week or somewhat this week is going to be done so yeah i have to go get ui so sooner or later i'm gonna have to pause on the monster girls and focus on ui and graphics and stuff like that sooner or later but with that said i will see you guys on the next one i gotta go talk to the map designer about some of those pieces that need to be removed and i'll see you guys on the next one until then peace out